So pixel art is definitely trending and it's clear to see why. There's a ton of different video games coming out now that are all in this kind of retro 8-bit or 16-bit trending pixel look and feel. And so this has clearly made its way into graphic design and we have done a couple videos already you can go and check out. But in this video, I want to show you how you can easily take any font and turn it pixelated in a matter of seconds in Kittle. So let's go ahead and dive in and take a look. So here we are in Kittle and I've got two boards right here that have the same fonts and these are all fonts available to you in Kittle. You can see right here, this is Kunstler script. This is Courier. This is going to be Helvetica. This is going to be one of our Western fonts, Arbus, and this is Americane right here. And so these are all obviously editable right now. You can click in and change them to be uh, whatever you want. But let's say that you have got the wording, you've got the design exactly how you want it, but you want to give it more of that pixelated look and feel. Well, to do this, what we need to do is rasterize these different fonts. And what that means is essentially make them an image so that they are no longer editable so that we can apply photo filters and photo effects. So obviously do what you're going to do on one artboard, duplicate it, and then you can play around with this. But to do this, all you're going to do is act like you're about to erase it. And you're going to get this notice that says rasterize layer to erase. And yes, I know there should be a much clearer button for this. We're working on that. But for the time being, you can simply go and act like you're going to erase it and you can rasterize that layer. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and hit rasterize. And then once I do that, it's going to be available for me to start erasing. Now, I don't really want to do that because that's not really what I'm here to do. I don't need to erase anything. But what I do need to do is go down to photo filter and then simply start adding pixels. And then if, as you can see there, uh, you can pixelate your font a little bit or a lot to basically where it's not even legible enough. But I'd say probably for this, maybe around like maybe like five looks pretty good. Maybe four. Yeah, just so we can get the, the rest of this little tail right here. And you can do this for every single one of them. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and rasterize this one. can do the same thing. Exit eraser mode, add filter. Then I can start pixelating this font. I'm going to do the same thing here with Helvetica. And you can actually do this for vector elements and illustrations as well. So I'll show you that in just a second. You can start pixelating this. Do the same thing here. You can just rinse and repeat this process as often as you want. Go ahead and add some pixelization here. Now, obviously, this is going to determine on the complexity of your type. Some are going to work a little bit better with this. Some are not. Let me go ahead and do this one more time. Exit eraser, go to photo filter, start adding some pixelization. But if you find that you're not exactly getting the effect that you want from pixelizing a normal piece of text, we actually already have our pixelized fonts in here that are completely editable. And we have so many of these. To find them, all you have to do is select text over here in the typeface settings, and then I can type in pixel. And that is going to give me a ton of different options for different fonts that are already pixelated and easily available to me to use however I want. You can see we have a couple of different varieties. Bit Nostalgic is one of my favorites. Here's another Western one that's already pixelated and easy to edit it. And it also has like cool little different pieces that you can go in and change as well as this one. I love Illusion Serif. Also really, really nice. But let me show you exactly how I was saying that we can do the same thing with an illustration. So maybe we want to find, let's see, something like, mm, yeah, let's go to one of these florals here. And maybe we want this leaf here. And instead of having the fill color, we're going to go ahead and turn the fill color off. And if I duplicate this, go to erase it, I can go to rasterize. This is the same exact effect. Go ahead and exit the eraser mode, go to photo filter, add pixelization, and boom, now we have pixelated elements. Now we also already have a lot of pixelated elements in our Y2K category, which you can find in abstract. You can find a lot of different pixelated elements just like that one. Uh, we have many, many more. You can also find by just going up here, typing in pixel, hitting enter, and you're gonna find so many different, uh, really, really cool elements that you can use from little icons. There's a skateboard, there's like whole 
uh, pixelated artwork. Uh, there are these little different shapes. So there's a lot of different things that you can go in and play with as well as rasterizing any element, any text, and then adding the photo filter with pixelation. So that was a super quick and brief example of how to do that in Kittle. Let me know if you plan to do that with any of your designs and don't forget to go check out some of those other pixel trend videos that we did. We made some really cool designs with that that I think you can also benefit from. Also, let me know what other things you want to see in Kittle. Are there other hacks? Are there other ideas? Are there other trending design styles you've been trying to make? We'd love to go ahead and put a tutorial together for you. And we can't know unless you comment it down below. So let us know what you want to see. I would love to read that, share it with the team and see what we can do. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. That helps us out a ton. Like, ring the bell, all that good stuff. And we will see you in the next video.